with an FC TV with Chris Agata following today's 1-1 draw at Weymouth. Uh, Chris, first of all, your thoughts on uh, For probably 15 minutes of the game, we were good. And then for um, the rest, we were rubbish. That's the, that's the, uh, the reality of the situation. Um, yeah, Weymouth deserved to beat us. Um, yeah, we got away with one, to be fair. <laughs> it was a frustrating afternoon. Never really felt like you hit your stride today. Um, just, just basic stuff, like kicking the ball off the pitch. And the, the thing is, there's is, is no excuse for it because, you know, we scored another won the goal today. Right. And again, the, in the 15 minutes over the course of 90, where we've played in moments again, we're we're brilliant, but um, you, know, you don't you don't get anything for playing well in moments not over the course of the season, and uh, yeah, just just sloppy, just really sloppy, um, and uh, yeah, very very annoying. It must be frustrating because it's something we've spoken about a lot now, where uh, the moment of playing in moments has been a, a big talking point of yours. How frustrating is it? And, and I guess what do you think you can do going forward to, to build that consistency and, and see it over a long time? Uh, well, <laughs> it takes time for one, because um, obviously, like today, I think we've got seven or eight faces that are new to the club, and um, you know that familiarity and that. Um, chemistry if you like that takes time um, which I think is why we are playing in moments uh, also just just mentality wise sometimes like we get a bit casual and we get a bit loose and we almost feel like oh this is easy you know we've we've created a great chance and we've got into a good position well we just need to you know we almost get casual with it and complacent um, so it's a mentality thing um, in terms of like tactically and what Weymouth have done today or, or not done we've we we knew what they were going to do we planned for it we worked hard on it in the week and you can see that when we execute what we need to do we you know we, we cut through them but it's just uh, we come off script sometimes and we do what we want or we misplace passes and surprise surprise it doesn't work and it breaks up the rhythm of the game and and before you know it becomes scrappy and you get involved in a basketball match, which we're not built for. So, um, yeah, my, my my biggest bugbear today was um, we come away from what we wanted to do, and uh, we shied away as well from the challenge a little bit in the second half. So when they were very aggressive, um, some of our longer passes were rubbish. Comes back too quick, so that only helps in terms of feeding their enthusiasm for let's get after them, let's be really aggressive. You know, if you go longer with quality and you break past their numbers and then you leave them with like a 60 yard recovery run, that, you know, the next time they have the opportunity to do it, it puts an element of doubt in their mind to go, oh, I don't want to overcommit. Whereas we just never done that because we just kept chipping it back. Um, some of our distribution from in deeper areas was, was was awful, um, and it just just didn't do enough to uh, discourage them from pressing. And then in the moments where um, where we did play a little bit shorter, um, just, I think two or three players hid a little bit, didn't fancy it, uh, shied away from it. Again, mentality thing. And the thing is, for for us, if you're going to play for Worthing, you can't shy away from having the football. Uh, we've made it abundantly clear that if we lose the ball playing out. You know, we'll take that as staff because that's the, what we're built for and that's the way that we play and that's why we, we've made a decent start. But um, what we saw today was a few, a few faces just shied away from the challenge a little bit and didn't really embrace the pressure and um, yeah, folded, which isn't really for me, to be honest. Touching on the positives today, in those in the 15 minutes spell that you said over the course of the game, there were some good moments, and the goal being one of them. Their keepers also made three fantastic saves yeah. today. Yeah. I'm bored, I'm bored of talking about moments already. I'm bored, same as you're bored asking me that question. 
Um, I'm bored of it. Like we're in, you know, we're pushing on towards October now. And we're saying the same things that we were saying a few weeks ago. Um, so, you know, like I said, it's, it's a new group and it takes time, but come on, right, hurry up now. Right, we need to we need to kick on. We can't keep dropping points. You know, like some some managers, coaches, whatever, might be grateful for for a point and. You know, five unbeaten or whatever, but that's not going to that's not going to get us to where we want to get to. But you know, we've got to be miles better than that. Um, so yeah, like the moments are great, but like, we've got really good players. We've got loads of quality. They should like, those moments should be like, should be great. Um, again, the challenge for us is turn them into spells, but and that'll come because um, either the lads liven up, we just play different players. And that's the benefit of having a really good squad, um, which perhaps we should have used a little bit better today. Um, in hindsight, it's just sort of thinking about it. But um, yeah, there's, there's plenty to digest and there's, there's a real feeling of frustration. Thanks, Aggie.